Well, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Worship Wednesday. We are live from Nashville, and it is a cold morning this morning. I am drinking my coffee out of, um, thank you, Regina, for sending this lovely cup. <laughs> uh, I hope you're doing well. Hi, Augustina. Good morning to you. Good evening. I know it's what, what, what is it there? 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Uh, Shella, Molly, Catherine from India. Hi there. <clears throat> Chiomi, uh, Re Reguel is watching. Hi there. Yeah. Well, welcome, everybody. Uh, it is a cold morning uh, in um, Nashville. Uh, in fact, uh, I should, do we have a picture of the temperature I took? I took a picture on my phone this morning of the temperature this morning. Look at that. One degree feels like minus seven. That's not Celsius. That is uh, Fahrenheit. So <laughs> it's cold. That's why I have a jacket on. <clears throat> anyway, welcome to all. Thank you for joining us for this Worship Wednesday. <clears throat> we may have a few uh, grandkids uh, arriving at our house. Uh, one of uh, my son, Michael's, uh, their house. Well, we had two of the kids. Their air conditioner, their heater went out, if you can believe it, in this cold weather. Uh, one got fixed, and uh, 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 Michael's wife, Kaylin, and her three kids are... I think going to come here this morning because their heater is out. Um, so anyway, it's it's cold, but here we are all gathered around uh, in, together to worship. So let's do that this morning. With a thankful heart and a song of praise, we've come to you, gathered in this place, for the things you've done and for who you are. We worship you with a thankful with a thankful heart and a song of praise. We've come to you, gathered in this place, for the things you've done and for who you are. We worship you with a thankful heart. So we lift up our praise, we lift up our sacrifice to you. We offer our prayers and we offer our lives in gratitude for all you do. We worship you. With a thankful heart, with a thankful heart, we will give you praise. You've been so good, covered us with grace. You have been our strength in a time so dark. So we worship you. With a thankful heart So we lift up our praise We lift up our sacrifice to you We offer our prayers And we offer our lives in gratitude We lift up our praise 
sacrifice to you. We offer our prayers and we offer our lives in gratitude for all you do. We worship you with a thankful heart. We worship you with a thankful heart. Yes, we do. With a thankful heart. Oh, we give you thanks today, Lord. come into your presence today with thanksgiving in our hearts, thanking you for all you have done and by faith for all you're about to do in Jesus' name. I come before you today There's just one thing that I want to say Say it with me Blessings that I cannot see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With a grateful heart, with a song of praise, with an outstretched arm, I will bless your name. today, saying thank you for all you've done. Amen. That's what the Bible says to do. Enter his gates with what? That's right. Thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Yeah, where'd my coffee go? 
Yeah, well, hey, I'll say hi to a few folks here. It is a cold, a chilly morning here in Nashville. I showed, uh, as we just began, show that picture again, just so they can see. I'm not just talking. Uh, it's really cold. One degree feels like minus seven. I didn't see a lot of fog out there. <clears throat> it was kind of a sunny day there. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was a sunny day. That's my back uh, patio. <clears throat> And it's a blue sky. I don't see fog, but it is cold. So there you go. Uh, that We had about eight inches of snow. Was that yesterday? Yesterday and the day before. So um, schools are closed. A lot of businesses are closed. Um, and, um, yeah. But we're here <clears throat> for Worship Wednesday. Say hi to a few folks here. Oh, hi. Somebody from Montreal. I saw that flying by. Amy in Alaska uh, <clears throat> singing along with me for 20 years. Really? <laughs> well, that's I've been doing this a long time. Um, thank you for joining us. I know it's... Well, hey, you know what? It may not... I don't know where you are in Alaska. It may not even be as cold as it is here in Nashville. Tessa in Dahran, Saudi Arabia. Wow. Thank you for joining. Veronica in Stockholm. Hi there. Uh, Helen in Massachusetts. Florence in London. Emmanuel in Sweden. Regina asks how Elora is. Um, I wish I had a picture uh, to show you of Elora. Elora is um, our, well, she's probably coming over here <clears throat> sometime during this live stream uh, because uh, uh, my daughter-in-law sent a picture this morning. It was 57 degrees in their house, which is pretty cold, and she had a picture of Elora with her winter bonnet on <laughs> trying to stay warm in the house, inside the house. So hopefully they'll get their air conditioning working, but Elora is doing well. Thank you, Regina, and welcome from Paris. Anita in Kuwait, thanks for joining. Caleb in Bloomington, Indi uh, Illinois. Uh, jo Johannes in Indonesia. Levi, or is it Levi, in Hong Kong, thank you for joining. Hello, Kay in Singapore, thanks for joining again. Hertha in Namibia. Uh, Cynthia in Athens, Greece, joining today. Ina in Indonesia. <laughs> Thanks for joining again. Hello, Bill in San Antonio. Thanks for joining. Uh, I know it's chilly there, too. Um, our daughter lives there. Um, Maria in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Um, thank you for joining. Doreen and Douglas in snowy County Sligo, Ireland. Is it snowing there? Wow. Welcome. Uh, Wilbur in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, Grace is watching from China. Thank you, Grace. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah. Japan is watching. Texas is watching. Um, North Dakota is watching. I know it's cold there. Hi, Priscilla. Says hello, Don. Paris is watching. Yeah. Bonjour from France. Boy, several from France watching today. Nancy in Glendale, California. Hello there. Crystal, Christelle er, in Montreal. Montreal. I, it's... Uh, here it's too cold. Really? From India? Uh, wow. Um, yeah. Abu Dhabi. Praveen. Praveen John, thanks. Saskatchewan. Yeah, we've been in the minus 30s for a week. Although minus 30, that's Celsius, right? So I don't know how that, uh, how that goes to Fahrenheit. But um, it's cold. I know that. Yeah. Malawi's watching. Well, thank you for joining us for this Worship Wednesday. Again, welcome <clears throat> from all over the world. I'm so glad we can do this together. Uh, Joyce, um, Joyce Clemart, Kleinart, 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 Joyce Kleinart, remember you from Living Sound. Joyce, did I stay in your home or or were you part of Living Sound? I'm, I don't, I'm not sure. But Living Sound was a group that I traveled with. Laura and I did for oh, 10 years all over the world. And we did about 330 concerts a year. 
um, well, no, we did more than that. We did uh, three concerts a day, usually. A morning concert at a school, an afternoon concert at a school, and an evening concert in a theater or a church. We did that about 300 days a year. So that was for 10 years. So that's about 1,000 concerts uh, a year for 10 years. And after about 10,000 times of doing that, I finally uh, figured out uh, <laughs> it's not about Don Moen. It's funny, you know. That's a lot of singing. Joshua asked, what keyboard are you using? This is a Nord made in Sweden, uh, a Nord. Um, oh, the camera's not low enough to see that, but it's a Nord uh, stage five, Nord five, it, which is just the piano sounds mostly, piano five, Nord piano five. It's not a stage. There's the Nord stage two, three. They're, they have all of the, uh, all this, all this is filled up with uh, little uh, sounds and, and knobs. And I like to have a piano. See, look, I got all this room here where I can put my paper, my programs, and I don't need all all the extra sounds. My keyboard guy, um, Chris Springer, he plays a, a Nord Stage two or three and has all those uh, pretty pretty sounds. This has enough for me, and I just need a piano and a pad. So that's usually what I do. Um, but I love these pianos, Nord, uh, made in Sweden. Um, what was I saying? What was I talking about? Um, I can't remember. I was, I was responding to something. Oh, living sound. Yeah. Yeah. So a thousand concerts a day for about a, a year, a thousand concerts a day, a, a year <laughs> for 10 years. So that's, yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of singing, a lot of playing. I was doing mostly playing guitar in those days, uh, trombone and a violin. Not a lot of piano then, and not a lot of singing either. But what it did do, uh, singing, uh, traveling around the world like that, our tours were 18 months long, and we're singing with, we're traveling with about 20, 20 other people on a bus. You do that for 18 months, day after day after day. You realize um, it, you can quickly find the faults in others, and you find the faults in yourself. But it was great training for me. Uh, we stayed in people's homes. That's why I have friends like you all over the world because um, you know, I've, I've stayed in, we stayed in homes. We didn't stay in five-star hotels. It was sleeping on someone's uh, spare couch or bedroom, spare bedroom. And then um, so I have friends everywhere. Uh, so it was a wonderful training for me. I called it like a Bible school and boot camp all in one. Hello, Estella Ng watching. Are you still down visiting your, uh, is it your son uh, in Grand Prairie? Yes, you are. Uh, but I know it's cold there, and uh, Calgary is very cold. I was looking at the weather. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard to sing when these things are flying by. Um, you know, <clears throat> when we moved to Nashville, I'll tell you a little story. Um, I was with uh, working with Integrity Music for 20 years. We were living in Mobile, Alabama, and I just felt that God had something more for me to do. So I, um, I resigned, and Laura and I talked about it. We had five uh, still fairly young children, yet I just, you know, I just felt I had to take a step out and try and do something new. So, uh, in fact, I even wrote a song about it. Uh, and still I believe there is more. I believe there is more. I believe. So I open my hands to receive all that your love has in store. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Yeah, I even wrote a song because I just, I just knew that God was going to meet us. And, and I took this step of faith and left all that was comfortable and stepped out. And uh, I felt pretty good for about two weeks. And then, of course, the paychecks start, stopped coming in. And um, then I got a little afraid. <laughs> I thought, what did I do? And I started writing songs like... Um, 
I find myself in uncharted territory. Never felt so lost, never felt so lonely. Where are you, Lord? I'm so afraid I can feel the fear inside me. I can't control the chaos all around me. Where are you, Lord? How can I sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? But how can I forget all you've done for me? Yeah, it gets better. But the, those are the um, verses. Yeah, I find myself in uncharted territory, and some of you may find yourself there today uh, due to circumstances uh, beyond your control, uh, a death in your family, a death of a loved one, uh, loss of a job, uh, a divorce, um, sickness, uh, you know, uh, going to the doctor, and he says, um, I'm sorry, but you have cancer, the, and you hear that word, and suddenly your life is it's just in a different place, and it is uncharted territory. Um, and um, I was thinking, Psalm 137, uh, that, that verse where... Um, uh, Psalm 137, <clears throat> uh, by, uh, verse 1, By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down and wept when we remembered Zion. We hung our heart. We hung our harps upon the willows, in the midst of it. For there, those who carried us away captive, asked us to sing a song, and those who plundered us requested, saying, "Sing us one of the songs of Zion." And they said, "How shall we sing the Lord, the Lord's song, in a foreign land?" And uh, that's maybe where you feel you are today, and it's it is difficult. Uh, last week it was fine to sing songs of praise and then suddenly it's like I'm in a different world. How am I? These songs don't seem to fit anymore. Uh, they don't seem to work anymore. But uh, if, you're, if you find yourself in that situation today, I would just say the fact that you're still here, you're still listening, you're still with us today is, is a, is, shows me that God has not forgotten you he is still faithful, and he will get you through this storm. Uh, when when we um, um, uh, when we came to Nashville, in in the middle of all after I went through this whole thing, it's like I I looked at our bank account and I in in our situation, and I said to Laura, you know, I should really be um, uh, discouraged, and yet I feel strangely hopeful something inside of me was I was feeling hopeful and I and, and I said somebody somewhere is praying for me and it was, it's probably uh, many of you right here um, and I know my buddy Glenn Hall uh, was praying for me every day but I just felt that uh, somebody's praying and I wrote this song <laughs> Was lost in a desert land so dry and thirsty but God was there where he'd always been giving grace and mercy so hard to sing and hard to pray yet I knew his word was true then one day my faith returned And suddenly I knew Somebody's praying for me Somebody's knocking on heaven's door Somebody's praying for me Somebody's lifting me up to the Lord 
Well, I knew it had to be Somebody down on their knees Somebody praying for me Well, I've been spared by so many prayers How many times I could not say What a difference a prayer can make When it's offered up in faith Well, God has always made a way When I didn't know what to do Just when I needed a miracle That's when your prayers broke through Somebody's praying for me Somebody's knocking on heaven's door Somebody's praying for me, oh yes Somebody's lifting me up to the Lord Well, I knew it had to be Somebody down on their knees Somebody praying for me, that's right the gift God gave me Cause when you prayed His love broke through It was your prayer that saved me So thank you for praying for me Thank you Thank you for knocking on heaven's door Thank you for praying for me Thank you for lifting me up to the Lord well, Now I can clearly see You were the one on your knees So thank you for praying for me yeah. Somebody's praying for me Somebody's knocking praying for me oh yes somebody's lifting me up to the Lord I knew it had to be somebody down on their knees somebody praying for me So thank you for praying for me when we were in those dark days. uh, I just knew that uh, many of you were praying for me, and it got us through. Uh, Even even in my darkest days, I just said, I can feel the the prayers. And you've probably been there as well. You're here today. You're still here because somebody prayed for you, a grandmother, a grandfather, a father, a mother, a brother, a sister, a pastor, a friend, somebody prayed. And if you know who it is, uh, before the week is over, just send them a text, uh, give them a call if they're still around, and just say, thank you. I know it was you that was praying. And uh, boy, where would we be? you had to think of all the close calls on the road, uh, the time when you were just about to fall, you tripped, and you you didn't break anything. You didn't fall. You didn't have that crash. Um, somebody somewhere is praying. So thank you uh, for your prayers. I'm so glad we can come together like this and uh, join each other in prayer for, for one another. Um, Anyway, um, by the way, uh, I just see here uh, our producer forgot to update the date for today's live stream in the title. Uh, So you can tell people this is actually live, um, but we'll update the titles after the live stream. Uh, Hey, Mary in Edmonton, Alberta. Thanks for joining. Lourdes in Japan. Angelita, Angelita in the Philippines. Thanks for joining. I know it's late there. 
Thanks for staying up with us, Ephraim, in Victoria, B.C. I believe I am singing there in um, uh, like May the 4th or 5th, 4th maybe, Victoria. So that'll be, hopefully we'll see you there. Uh, Alex in London, England. Uh, thanks for joining. Neko from India. Magdi is watching again from Hungary. Thank you. Um, good to see you again. Um, yeah. <clears throat> you know, uh, so thinking about going through those uh, difficult times, I know you all do, and that's part of life. How many times have I read that uh, passage to you? Psalm 107, 23 through 31. Um, those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters, they will see the hand of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. And it goes on to say, God causing the waves to mount up to the heavens, down to the depths. Uh, I'm reminded of that uh, passage in, where is it? M Matthew, Mark, uh, Matthew 14. Uh, Jesus had just fed, I think, this, had just fed 5,000 people, and um, he told the disciples to get into the boat. You know this story, and uh, I don't need to read it to you. And, and they encountered this uh, horrendous storm, and they were afraid, and, and Jesus came walking to them uh, on the water in the night, and <laughs> they thought it was a ghost, and they cried out for fear, and Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. And maybe some of you, after you got a doctor's report, you need to hear those words from the Savior today. Be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. Oh, keep your eyes on him. Um, Peter answered and said, Lord, if it's really you, command me to come to you on the water. And Jesus said, Come on. And um, when Peter had come out of the boat, he walked out of the water to go to Jesus. And when he saw the wind was wind in the waves, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand, caught him, and said to him, Oh, ye of little faith, why did you doubt? And they got into the boat, and the wind calmed down. Yeah. So I pray, uh, be encouraged. Keep your eyes on Jesus and, uh, you know, hear those words from the Savior today. Peace be still. Peace be still. Um, when my heart is overwhelmed And it seems that all my hope is gone Well, that's when God steps in Things that were impossible suddenly are possible again, and the miracle begins. Keep your eyes on Him till the storm passes over. He can calm the wind to a whisper with His word. be still hear the words of the Savior all is well keep your eyes on him seasons come and seasons go well it makes no difference all I need to is in control through stormy winds and raging seas he'll be there protecting you and me our God is in control yes he is keep your eyes on him till the storm passes over he can calm the wind to a whisper with his word. Peace be still, hear the words of the Savior. All is 
well Keep your eyes on Him Well, God will always make a way Miracles can happen You'll see nothing is impossible If you just believe And keep your eyes on Him Till the storm passes over He can calm the wind To a whisper with His word Yes, He can Peace be still Hear the words of the Savior all is well Keep your eyes on Him And He never sleeps slumbers. He never tires of hearing our prayer. When we are weak, oh, He becomes stronger. So rest in His love and cast all of your cares on Him. Yeah, I think uh, Denise, uh, this is for you. He requested this song. The Bible says our God never sleeps. He never slumbers. When you prayed every prayer that you know how to pray, just remember the Lord will hear and the answer is on its way. God is able, He is mighty, He is faithful, and He never sleeps, He never slumbers, He never tires of hearing a prayer. When we are weak, He becomes stronger, so rest in His love, cast all of your cares on Him. has forgotten your need just remember that God is always working in ways you cannot see that's right our God is able he is mighty he is faithful and he never sleeps he never slumbers he never tires stronger so rest in his love cast all of your cares on him he never sleeps come on sing it with me he never sleeps oh he never slumbers he never tires of hearing a prayer when we are weak he becomes stronger so rest in his love cast all of on him the Bible says to cast all of your cares on him because he cares for you my friend this is more than a promise it's a command so be at rest because while we're worshiping today God is working in ways that you cannot see he never sleeps he never slumbers Sing it. he never sleeps tires, never tires of hearing a prayer. When we are weak, He becomes stronger. So rest in His love. Cast all of your care on Him. He never, never, He never sleeps. Oh no. He never
never tires, never tires of hearing a prayer. When we are weak, He becomes stronger. So rest in His love, cast all of your cares. So rest in His love, cast all of your cares. So rest in His love, cast all of your cares on Him. has not yet been answered uh, don't stop praying because today could be the day when God answers that prayer amen because when the oceans rise and thunders roar I will soar with you above the storm Father you are king over the flood I will be still and know you are God. Find rest, my soul, in Christ alone. Know his power in quietness and trust cause when the oceans rise and thunders roll I will soar with you above the storm Father you are king over the flood and I will be still and know you are God I will be still and know you are God. I will be still and know you are God. Isaiah 43 verse 1 says, Don't be afraid. I've redeemed you. I've called you by name. You are mine. When you go through the deep waters, they will not overwhelm you. You will not drown. And when you go through the fire of oppression, the flames will not consume you. You will not be burned up. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. My friend, there is no storm that is too big that God cannot calm in your life today storm in your marriage, in your business, in your family, a storm of disease in your body. Hear these words from the Savior, just like the disciples did on that boat. Peace, be still. Peace, be still. And know that I am when the oceans rise and the thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood, and I will be still. soar with you above the storm. Father, you are king over the flood, and I will be still and know you are God. I will be still 
and know you. Our God, I will be still and know you. Our God. Yes, I will. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day. He will make a way, He will make a way, yes He will. God will make a way, where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see, He will make a way. closely to his side with love and strength for each new day he will make a way he will make a way by a roadway in the wilderness he'll lead me rivers in the desert will I see heaven and earth will fade but his word will still remain that's right and he will do something new today oh God will make a way yes he will where there seems to be no in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to his side. With love and strength for each new day, he will make a way. He will make a strength for each new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. Yes, He will. He will make a way for you. Lord, I thank you for making a way where there seems to be no way, a roadway in the wilderness, a river in the desert. Thank you, Lord. Mending broken hearts today. Healing broken marriages. Bringing families back together. Calling people to yourself today. And if you have never surrendered your life to Christ, just pray this prayer with me, dear Jesus. I believe you are the Son of God. You died on a cross for me. I am a sinner. I need a Savior. Come into my heart, Lord. Forgive my sins. Fill me with your love. Fill me with your spirit. I choose to follow you today. Thank you for hearing my prayer. Lord, I ask that you would heal those who are sick today as we have gathered in your presence promised, Psalm 22, verse 3, 
You are enthroned on the praises of your people. And when you are with us, you will heal, you will save, you will deliver, provide for every need. So, Lord, I ask you to heal broken bodies today. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Thank you, Lord. Driving out all sickness, all disease, in Jesus' name. Cancer be gone, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Mm, with love and strength for each new day, He will make a way. He will make. Yes, he will. He will make a way for you. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for this Worship Wednesday. I could say to hi to a few more folks, I guess. Hey, by the way, don't forget to check out... Um, lowly.fm. We've had a really good response from people on this. If you've not seen the spots, um, we started a, a separate YouTube channel. Just it's instrumental music uh, with uh, recognize you know with Christian worship songs, uh, you, and you're not going to always recognize them because they're in, in a real subdued uh, approach. But I just wanted to create something that would provide a background when I'm studying, when I'm reading. Uh, I just like to have something on soft in the background sometimes. And uh, so um, we created lowly.fm. Uh, if you haven't checked that out, check it out. And you s can subscribe. We're putting new uh, mixes up all the time. So uh, check it out, lowly.fm. Let me know what you think. Yeah, say hi to a few. Hi, Godfrey. Uh, Jacqueline in Huntsville, Alabama, just down the road. You got some snow there, too, I know. Faith in Uganda. Hey, Faith, thanks for joining us. Abby in Mexico. Pamela in Marshfield, Missouri. Uh, Linda in Australia. Regual is happy you sang a song <laughs> from Uncharted Territory. Um, I did. I did. I prayed. Some, I, I sang Somebody's Praying uh, for me and a little bit of uncharted territory. I love that song, but I, I don't know why I recorded it in the key of C, because it gets high. How can I forget all you've done for me? Everything you've done, Lord, just to set me free. Teach me how to pray. Teach me how to praise. Even in the darkness, Teach me how to sing your song. I'm going to sing your song. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, that's for you. Uh, Don in Ottawa, Ontario. Hello, Don. I met a Don when we were up there. I wonder if it's you. Uh, Lupita in Pueblo, Mexico. Hello there. Uh, Maria in San Francisco, San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, Rebecca in Paraguay, thank you for joining. Sansu in Elk Grove, California. Crystal in New York, Jennifer in Texas, Natty in Saudi Arabia, Pat in England. Connie asks, when are you coming to Holland? That's March 8th, 9th, and 10th. We fly out of here and we get there, I think, for a day of rehearsal. I'll have Paul Belosh with me and Rachel Robinson and the whole band. Uh, so that's uh, March 8th, 9th, 10th. We're in three cities. Uh, if you want to know the cities, go to donmoen.com forward slash tour. It'll show you where we're going to be and when. And the same goes for our upcoming uh, Canada tour, too. That's uh, the end of April and May. It, I, I think we have those posted already. But anyway, uh, check that out, donmoen.com forward slash tour. Um, and don't, again, the, the date we put up for today's live stream is wrong. We'll fix it once we, uh, once we um, get off the air, but it is live. Um, this is January 17th, and that's what you'll see on the live stream. Again, thank you so much for joining me uh, uh, for today, Ivy, 
Is Lowly FM the one with the lion profile? Yes, it is. Uh, the lion and the lamb. Jesus, the lion and the lamb. So we put a lion up there. Um, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> Hello, Juanita in South Africa. Yeah. Boy, I spent about four years of my life traveling there. Uh, coming to San Francisco. I'd love to come to San Francisco. San Francisco. We have been looking at doing a West Coast tour, L.A. and San Francisco and up, up to Oregon. But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's complicated getting the whole band there, and, uh, but we're, we're going to try. Hey, Kito, Kita in Minnesota. Uh, I know it's cold up there. Heather in Fort Lauderdale. I lived there for about two years down in Hollywood, Florida. Um, Germany is watching. Thank you. Well, listen, I, th I think uh, I, it's been fun being with you today for this Worship Wednesday. Please uh, remember that God is always working in ways you cannot see. Oh, I forgot to end like this. And now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. And now, let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us give thanks we give thanks we give thanks and all the people in Asia said uh, good night I know you're thinking Don are you never going to end it's late over here I know thank you for staying up with us, uh, joining us today. Remember, God is always working in ways that you cannot see. So uh, that's, uh, remember that as you go to sleep, as you begin your day. Uh, but God is always working in ways you cannot see. So Lord, thank you for doing that. In each life today, we pray in Jesus' name. I love you. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next week.